Hello. I don't normally bring you a list of books that I'm actually reading or hoping to read, but I thought I might try it today, September 2022, the reading I've set myself. This is light reading and I've got six books from the library and I've also bought us another one which I could not resist because I'd heard about it on booktube. So here's what's coming. The first two I've already done reviews of and that would be the Virginia Woolf book by Alexandra Harris and I have also reviewed Anita Luce, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, wonderful light reading. I'm heading on to the next ones which are Flan O'Brien at Swim Two Birds, a bit of a chunker but humorous so I'm hoping to get to that soon. More serious, Virginia Woolf, her selected essays. And I looked through several books at the library to try and make sure <clears throat> that it particularly included the essays I wanted to read the most. So that should be quite good. And Light Relief again, Spike Milligan, Man of Letters. Um, it's a book listing a lot of different letters he wrote. And he was a very vibrant correspondent, shall we say. He cared deeply about many things and he was humorous. So there's a rather interesting choice of letters from him. And also from the library, I'm just about to review um, West with the Night, Beryl Markham. So that should be updated as the time you see this one. And finally, I'm working my way through thoughtfully this book, Old in Art School. And it's by Nell Painter, who at age 64 gave up a tenant, tenured professorship in Princeton on history and went to art school, as she says, very much the oldest in the class. What did she think of it? What did she learn? How did she interact with people younger than her? And how did she find the whole art world as different from the world she was used to um, in the academic humanities? So that's taking a lot of thought as I'm reading it. So I hope those will be of interest to you as I voyage through them in September. And just to say, the Olden Art School I got because of seeing it on Booktube and also West with the Night. They're both influenced by Booktube. 